in this video i will show you an example of norton theorem find the current through 4 ohm resistor using norton theorem see this is our 4 ohm resistor and we have to use the norton theorem that means this 4 ohm will be our load resistor r l and we have to find out the current that is flowing through this 4 ohm resistor in our first step i will disconnect this load resistor from our original circuit after removing the load resistor RL, let's say this is our A terminal and this is our B terminal where our load resistor RL was connected. Now, see this is a linear bilateral circuit. We can convert this total circuit into a current source. I will denote that current with current source I N in parallel with a no resistor Rn. This total circuit now can be converted into a current source in parallel with a resistor Rn. See I can convert uh, this total circuit into a current source In in parallel with a resistor Rn which will be our Norton equivalent circuit and this Norton equivalent circuit will be connected with respect to A and B terminal. After deducing IN and RN, I can find out the current that is flowing through this 4 ohm resistor for this given network. So at first I will find out our Norton resistance. See here, I have to calculate the Norton resistance with respect to this A and B terminal. When I will calculate Norton resistance, I will replace the current source with an open circuit and voltage source with a short circuit this current source and this current source will be replaced by open circuit that means i can remove this entire branch from our original circuit and i can remove this entire branch from our original circuit therefore our circuit will look like this okay to calculate rn we will replace the voltage source with short circuit see voltage source was connected between these two terminals I have replaced that with short circuit and current source will be replaced by open circuit after that with respect to this A and B terminal I will calculate our Norton resistance see current sources here current sources are replaced with open circuit see with respect to this terminal and this terminal our Rn will be equal to 2 ohm so in our Norton equivalent circuit our Rn will be equal to only 2 ohm after calculating Rn equal to 2 ohm, I have to calculate the Norton current In. See here in this circuit we have total 3 independent sources 5 ampere, 2 ampere current source and 6 volt voltage source. So I will use superposition theorem to calculate this Norton current. At first I have to short the A and B terminal. So for these 3 independent sources, what will be our Norton current C? Our load resistor of 4 ohm was connected between this A and B terminal. To calculate Norton current, at first I have to short this A and B terminal and the current that is flowing through this path, this short path for the three sources will be our Norton current. As in this circuit we have total three sources, therefore I will use superposition theorem to calculate the current, Norton current through this short path. At first, I will keep this 6 volt source active. Therefore, this current source will be replaced by open circuit and this current source will be replaced by open circuit. So, I can remove the current source from our circuit. Also, this current source from our circuit. See, as this branch and this branch are open, that means I can remove the entire branch from our circuit. So, after replacing the current source, you will see our new circuit will look like this. Now, this was our A terminal and this was our B terminal. For the 6 volt source, the current that will be flowing through this AB path will be denoted as IN prime. See, this is a total short circuit and in this circuit we have a single voltage source and a single resistor. See, as this is the positive terminal of the source and this is the negative terminal, therefore current should flow like this in this direction therefore in will be in upward direction and its value will be equal to the total voltage divided by total resistance 6 volt divided by 2 ohm which will be equal to 3 ampere now let me write it down our i n prime equal to 
थ्री एम्पियर आफ्टर दैट आई उल कीप दिस फाइव एम्पियर कारेंट सोर्स एक्टिव देयर फोर दिस वोल्टेज सोर्स उल बी रिप्लेस बै शर्ट सार्किट एंड दिस कारेंट सोर्स टू एम्पियर उल बी रिप्लेस बै एन ओपेन सार्किट कारेंट सोर्स इज रिप्लेस बै ओपन सार्किट दैट मीस आई कैन रिमूव दिस कारेंट सोर्स फ्रम आवर सार्किट हेयर यू उल सी एज दिस ब्रांच इज एन ओपन सार्किट देयर फोर आई कैन डिसकनेक्ट दियर टोटल ब्रांच और रिमूव द टोटल ब्रांच फ्रॉम आवर ओरिजिनल सर्किट एंड द वोल्टेज सोर्स विल बी रिप्लेस्ड बाय शॉर्ट सर्किट सी आई हैव रिप्लेस्ड द वोल्टेज सोर्स विथ ए शॉर्ट सर्किट एंड फॉर दिस 5 एम्पियर करंट सोर्स आई विल डिनोट दिस नॉट ऑन करंट विथ आई एन डबल प्राइम सो व्हाट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस आई एन डबल प्राइम नाउ लुक एट दिस टर्मिनल एंड दिस टर्मिनल देयर यू विल सी वी हैव ए टोटल शॉर्ट सर्किट कनेक्टेड in parallel with this two ohm resistor that means there will be no current flow through this two ohm resistor therefore the entire current will follow the short path see 5 ampere current will supply in this direction therefore our i n double prime will be flowing in this direction as this is a short circuit total current will flow through this path i n double prime will be equal to 5 ampere so here our i n double prime equal to 5 ampere and it is in downward direction after that i will keep this 2 ampere current source active when i will keep this 2 ampere current source active this voltage source will be replaced by short circuit and this current source will be replaced by open circuit this current source is replaced by open circuit that means i can remove this current source so i can remove the entire branch from our network and the voltage source will be replaced by short circuit that means i can remove the voltage source from our circuit and replace it by a short path short circuit let's say the current that will be flowing through this path for this 2 ampere current source will be i n triple prime here you will see across this terminal and this terminal this 2 ampere current source will supply a current 2 ampere at this point with respect to this terminal and this terminal we have total two paths for current flow one is in this direction and another in this direction therefore the current that will be flowing through this path will be our i n triple prime and you will see across this two ohm resistor we have a total short path connected therefore the current so this 2 ohm resistor will be equal to zero so this 2 ampere current current will flow in this path in downward direction He, previously our in prime was in upward direction in double prime was in downward direction and its value was 5 ampere and in here in triple prime is also flowing in downward direction and it has a value of 2 ampere now you will see our not on current in will be equal to i will add this 5 ampere and this 2 ampere and subtract our 3 ampere as it is flowing in opposite direction that will be equal to 4 ampere that means this not on current source will have a value of 4 ampere now i have to calculate the current that is flowing through this 4 ohm resistor let's say that is our load current i l how do we calculate this load current i l will be equal to if i want to calculate see with respect to this terminal and this terminal this rn equal to 2 ohm and this 4 ohm resistor are connected in parallel therefore i will take the resistance of opposite branch 2 ohm divided by the sum of 2 and 4 multiply that with the value of current source which will be equal to 2 6 into 4 which will be equal to 4 by 3 ampere now let me show you the verification of my circuit this is the circuit setup to calculate our not on current see 6 volt 2 ohm 5 ampere 2 ampere and this is the short path where i have connected a multimeter which will give us the ampere reading the current that is flowing through this short path see here now let me run the simulation see here our not on current is equal to 4 ampere and i have shown you that our not on resistance will be 2 ohm okay that's it thank you